To build ESP32 CAM project, I have demonstrated everything and all the problems which may face while working on this project. Okay, so everything in detail is in this video as well as the details are also given in my blog. So let's make it. So this is ESP32 CAM module and this is camera. Okay, so you can, uh, uh, the very first thing I need to do is I need to attach the camera to the module. So I pull the lever up and I will just insert the camera into the slot very carefully because it can break the camera can break so very carefully I need to insert it once I press it it will be locked so the first setup is done and then I need to uh, use FTDI module so now we'll go ahead and uh, connect the wire in between uh, FTDI module as well as ESP32 cam so four five wires needs four wires for connection and one wire to short that's something i will uh, demonstrate as well i will show everything in here so vcc will go to you know uh, five volt on esp32 cam and ground will go to ground the detail to make this uh, details to connect the wire is also given uh, you may see here on the screenshot the details to uh, connect the wires also on the on the screen and given on the website the link is given in the description Now I need to short IO0 and ground pin together. Okay. This is important. I'll, I'll tell you next later and why we do it. So now it's time to connect two more wires TX and RX. So these two are TX and RX which will go to again FTDI module like I said if you visit my blog which is uh, the link is in the de description you will see more details about the project and also watch the video to understand and then uh, uh, it will help you to build the project so the connection is done uh, this has been shorted together IO0 and ground so hardware setup is almost done now it's time to uh, do some software setup so this is the uh, web, this is my blog you see what components we need to build the project and uh, down below is step one now uh, this is wire connections And this is an important message that you need to uh, short IO0 with the with, uh, ground pin together. So let's time, uh, it's time for uh, software setup in the environment, ID environment, like so, Arduino IDE. So the very first thing we need to do is we need to add the given URL here to Arduino. It will download some uh, packages. Okay, so to copy the URL from here and then we'll go to file and preferences. So click on file and then preferences. Okay, just click on this and paste the URL. 
click OK click OK again and down bottom right you see the download has started see so downloading some packages so this is done I'll also paste the code I'll show you two ways the code example which is given in the in my blog here if you scroll down the example is also given and there is one one more way to upload the code okay so the code has been pasted now it's time to do further setup okay from the board managers search ESP32 okay and you need to install this package if you click install the installation will uh, start In the bottom right you see it start it's uh, downloading the packages uh, so it's not that fast I have fast forwarded the video because on my machine it took around four minutes four to five minutes so it may take more or less on your machine maybe five minutes or six minutes or even more So the code you see on, on the screen right now, if that does not work, then there is another way to, uh, to uh, upload the code and uh, few more settings, few more things are required like Wi-Fi ID and Wi-Fi password. See line number 5, line number 6, code line number 5, line number 6, SSID, that's the ID. Let's say in case you are using your mobile hotspot, you can give the ID there and the password. Uh, or maybe if you are using a Wi-Fi, maybe home Wi-Fi, you can give the Wi-Fi login ID and the password of Wi-Fi, the router. So the installation is still in progress uh, and it will definitely take a few more minutes even after fast forwarding. In case on your machine it is taking longer, like around 8 minutes or 10 minutes, don't worry, let it, let it install completely. So before you push the code, before you upload the code, you need to enter the SSI like Wi-Fi ID and password the one I said line number 5 and line number 6 right now I'm not doing I'm just want to show you something here this is something so if you see any code upload error then try another way click on file then examples then click on ESP32 okay then select camera and this and click on camera it will open a new sketch it's, it's come uh, given by uh, Arduino itself few things you need to check here in this code you need to change your camera mode like you need to select the right camera module so in my case my camera module is not what line number 17 has my camera module is this one line number 25 so I will have to disable enable this code and I will disable line number 17 so AI thinker you see the name here line number 25 that's my camera module the another thing you need to do is you need to check the 
uh, in a format so line number 71 if you see any error like it does not support jpg the bot like when you upload the code bottom right you see uh, maybe xyz error then does not support jpg then you can again go back to my uh, blog url and you will see uh, you know the pix format and in my for a streaming for a streaming you will see pix format and uh, for my board it was grayscale okay so i changed so we need to select that so right now if jpg does not support if the module does not support jpg we need to select that so and then we need to enter our user id the wi-fi user id and wi-fi password the way we connect our mobile with hotspot or wi-fi similarly the wi-fi user id and wi-fi password so update here and then upload the code once you upload the code if there is no error it will get uploaded within a minute okay once the code has been uploaded what you need to do you need to open a serial monitor here and then the second thing you need to do is remember you connected this wire to short before uploading the code we need to remove that because the code has been uploaded and push this reset button here you see as soon as i pushed the reset button on the serial monitor you see something called waiting for downloads and keep eyes on this how this changes so it's trying to connect so it should not take longer uh, within few seconds you will see message here okay now the wi-fi is getting connected and it has given me the address okay so i will now open a mobile and type the url here one main thing to remember that the wi-fi network has to be same the mobile has to be connected to the same network and the wi-fi module which means esp32 cam module has to be connected to same network okay when i scroll up it says start a stream when i clicked on it and the stream has started So demo I already gave in the beginning of the video it's the same so it worked well for me thanks for watching